Yeah. Okay. I'm ready for this one. Okay. Let's do this one. Otherwise, we have to do it all over again. So don't mess it up. Um, my New Year's resolution. For 2021. Well, next year I'd like to learn something new every day. Even a single new thing every day and become slightly better than what I was the day before. To just be a better me. So my New Year's resolution is the same as it has been in many other years. It is to grow. To grow in every fashion that is possible. As human beings, we are incredibly complex. I want to grow academically. I want to grow emotionally, physically, spiritually. So yeah, in one word, it is to grow. Stay strong. Don't give up. Keep enthusiastic. Keep going. Keep smiling. To make one person smile a day, even if that person's me. To always stay true to myself, to my friends and to my family. Keep living. Keep on going the extra mile for my patients, my colleagues and my friends. Uh, is to commit myself to taking more time each day to appreciate everything and everyone around me and also getting my hands on a brand new PS5. Would be not to hesitate when I should act as I rather regret something I did do than the thing that I didn't. Be a bit more rigorous about the kinds of projects I take on, so taking on things that aren't only good for my portfolio but actually things that I really enjoy doing and make me happy um, and maybe sometimes saying no to opportunities uh, that I don't necessarily want to get involved in. Is to say yes to more opportunities because you never quite know what they might lead to. To take every opportunity that comes my way and to say yes to everything possible not put anything off. Is not to wait for a new year or a new day um, to put something into action because the best time to do that is now. I think it's to throw myself in at the deep end with some projects that I might not be so comfortable with. So, for example, social media is not my forte at all. Um, so to kind of push myself a little bit to do some projects that I wouldn't necessarily do and build some confidence and some skills in those. Is to continue to develop new skills, to gain more confidence in myself and to exercise more because that is a resolution that you have to put every year. And to up the mileage that I'm running. Probably try to run another half marathon and read more books. Just to make more time for reading. Lockdown was a really good opportunity to get reading done. It's to read more, to have more conversations, to think more and to read widely and also listen to audiobooks. I'm going to watch the news less. <laughs> Spend less time on social media. To put in more time in the healthy habits that I've gained this past year, making a dent in my reading list once exams are done, maybe even learning how to cook. Nah, I'm just setting myself up for failure. Okay, let's just scratch the cooking and keep everything else in. Yeah, that's doable. Finally be a better cook and learn some new recipes. It's to eat healthier. Specifically, to eat less meat. It's to get up half an hour earlier and stretch in the morning. I want to learn to play the bass. It's to look after my natural hair a lot more and, and experiment more with it. To never let my husband cut my hair again though, because I think we both agreed. Um, that that just doesn't work very well. I'm gonna try and stop buying so many clothes that I don't need. To win just one game of Among Us as the imposter. No, I'm joking. It's actually to spend as much time as possible building up Med for All resources because it really is my passion project and I love it so much. My New Year's resolution last year was not to make any more resolutions but to have themes instead. So this year's theme is gonna be a theme of uh, being productive with my side projects. To prioritise um, and to put my efforts and my time into, into my main priorities um, in work um, so I can create a good balance, work-life balance. Is to spend some time at the beginning of the year trying to work out what it is I want to accomplish and how I go about doing that and then dedicating the year to being completely driven and completely focused and diligent on getting those things done um, because if 2021 is like 2020 you can't wait for stability for things to happen you just have to be driven regardless of the circumstance and as I said earlier everyone's adaptable so they'll do it it'll be fine. My New Year's resolution is to accomplish all the goals I have set for the upcoming year. Keep learning. I will 
graduate as a doctor? Mainly revolve around entering specialty training programs in surgery, but more importantly having the opportunity to see my family again after the pandemic settles out. It's to spend more time outdoors. It's to check in on people more. I think it's been a really tough year for everyone and you know, even just to ask someone how they are at the end of a long day at work or, um, you know, any friends, any family, just check in and hopefully it'll give them an opportunity to speak if they need to. I hope everyone stays safe. Stay healthy, stay safe, stay optimistic. <laughs> just spending more time with God, um, spending more time with family when it's feasible um, and... <laughs> Um, just better time management skills, that's what I would say. Better time management skills so that I could be 100% um, with every commitment that I have um, and to forego less sacrifices. I'm still going to sacrifice time, but I think just being able to be a bit more effective in time management so I can be A1 with every single person that I'm in communication with. Really to value what I've got and value what I'm fortunate enough to be part of. I think sometimes, I think the thing I've learned in 2020 is just how important those closest to you are, how important your family is, how important your loved ones are, how important uh, the people you surround yourself are. Um, and I guess we've all been in, a, in, a, in bubbles with hopefully those people that are closest to you. And I've come to cherish that. I've come to cherish the time I've spent with my children. I've come to cherish the time I spend with those I'm most closest with and, mo and I work with. And I hope that actually I've learnt, and I hope we've all learnt, that that's really important, that we should really focus on those that are most important to us and closest to us and try and help them. And then from that, grow that pie of, of the people that we can connect with and truly connect with in a meaningful way. What did I want to say? Yeah. Oh, this is putting me on the spot. And after 2020, I'm not really sure I want to give any predictions. I definitely don't have any predictions for 2021. Expect to expect something unexpected. That's all. <laughs> That's probably the best thing. Um, at this point, I'm kind of scared to make predictions for 2021, but hopefully it will see life going back to some form of normality where we can see our families and friends and travel and, and do all of our normal things that we love to do. So fingers crossed. I can't make any predictions for 2021 after things I predicted for 2020. <laughs> well, I'd rather think about the end of 2020 before I even think about that. Although I cannot predict what is going to happen in 2021, I wish and I hope for the whole world to gain back health, happiness and serenity. Is that things will definitely get better, but they will always be different than before. Is that hopefully we will all be vaccinated against COVID-19 and we can go back to a new kind of normal, fingers crossed. Prediction for next year, I think it's going to be a great year, you know, everything is just, everyone's just holding back everything that they want to do this year and then it's going to just, you know, um, just be let loose next year and it's going to be a great year. That by the end of 2021, hopefully we will spend much more time in person and much less time on Zoom. Well, I think we're going to spend more time outdoors and we're going to value every moment of it. A lot of busy pubs. That there will be a lot of people trying to not be in the UK next year. Um, I am one of them. Um, every annual leave will be somewhere not here, I think, to make up for all the holidays I missed this year, right? <laughs> in 2021, we will all meet in person again and we can get to know our new HLA scholars in real life. Um, my 2021 prediction is that people will start to appreciate the smaller things more, like having your friends around for a movie. Hopefully less virtual meetings and face masks in 2021, while also using a lot of the opportunities and learning points that we've gained over the year to really help improve our own systems within the NHS and its trusts. Um, I'm hopeful that it'll be a more positive year than 2020, 
but I'm also realistic that the effects of the past year are going to be felt well into this year and beyond, um, which I'm similarly cautious about. Um, it's that there will be a rise in the coronavirus cases in January after we've had household mixing over Christmas and before there's been time for a wider rollout of the vaccine. I will say that in as much as 2020 has shown the ability for human beings to come together, to coordinate, to collaborate, it has also shown the natural tendency of human beings to become so much more inward looking. And I think this is a trend that perhaps may continue, that we're seeing internationally, nationally, and even regionally that policy makers, decision makers are becoming so much more internally orientated wanting to serve the people that they directly serve rather than considering the external consequences of their actions. I believe that in 2021, if we fail to realise that this trend is something that has continued to occur throughout 2020, sadly, it could be something that we'll continue to see. If I am honest, I think it's still going to be a very difficult year for all of us. I think it's going to test us as leaders. I think it's going to test us a lot as clinicians, but also as humans. But what I also think, and again, that comes down to me being positive most of the time, is that we're gonna come out all right on the other side, and if not, stronger. 2021 might still be quite challenging, but also there'll be plenty of opportunities to make and shape the future. I think that we are gonna carry on in difficult times for quite a while, really, but I'm looking forward to seeing more digital training solutions coming out uh, across the country for different purposes. During and after this crisis, a lot of key decisions are going to be made that will impact a lot of future generations. And we have to make sure that those decisions will be the right decisions. Uh, that it's going to be a hard year, but it's going to be a fun year. Well, I think we've learned an awful lot about what matters to us as society, but also individually throughout COVID. I'd be hoping that we could start to get back to some normality as we approach Easter and into the summer, but we'll really have to be guided by what happens around us. But I really hope that some lessons have been learned from COVID-19 and the world hopefully will be moving into a better place. I think by the middle of next year, we'll have a new normal. It won't be the same as before, it'll be slightly different, but it'll be not what we're experiencing this minute. Everything will return back to normal. Is the end of COVID, hopefully. Hopefully Corona vanishes and goes away. <laughs> um, another prediction I would say is just things getting bigger and crazier. I think, um, especially with regards to new ideas being implemented, I just see people being courageous to introduce new concepts, new projects. Um, new organisations, new initiatives. I just see a lot more happening, especially in the healthcare landscape, especially with younger clinicians as well. So that's my 2021 prediction. Um, there will be even more creativity and even more global connections. If you some creative collaborations. As a civilization, globally, we will all become a lot closer and more tolerant of each other as well. Maybe regaining control. I'm going to go out on a limb here, given their recent performance, and say that Arsenal are going to win the FA Cup. Hopefully that England can bring it home next year, the Euros 2020, or Euros 2021 now. My 2021 prediction is that the new season of Killing Eve will be released. Boris Johnson will not be Prime Minister by the end of the year. Is that sometime in the next few weeks, someone on Zoom will say... I think you're on mute. Sorry, I was on mute. Um, so next year will be better, hopefully. Hope. I think things will get better. I'm hopeful. I predict that 2021 will be a lot better than 2020. 2021 can only get better. For 2021, we all hope that it will be a new start or a change but I think the reality is as we're seeing towards the end of 2020 that this is a lot longer process and a lot longer um, challenge that all of our societies face so I hope that 2021 will bring perhaps lessons learnt from 2020 and a renewed 
coming together as a, as a society and as a community to try and face those challenges and genuinely try and improve uh, what could be um, a more difficult year. And I hope that actually we aren't going to end up having uh, that. We're going to learn the lessons of 2020 and move on and hopefully do what we can. I don't think simply going back and forgetting about 2020 and uh, going back a, a year is going to really work. I think the reality is we have to face the challenges we have ahead of us. And But the only way we can do that, I think, is to come together and really work together to solve um, some of these really, really difficult things that are facing us as societies. That's it. Um, that is the big summary of, of everything.